Hey everyone, it's Jane back with another freaking video. Guys, so this is the plan. today is today is monday may 18th which i don't even know where these last few days have gone this is probably the realest i'm ever going to be in a video my room's a mess just got out of the shower no makeup nothing bed's not made normally i like to have my bed made i'm really out of breath for some reason maybe because i've actually been moving a little bit more today than normal this video as you can see is about me struggling with vertigo and my anxiety so a few years ago i had like a lot of dizzy spells and i would freak out i didn't know what was happening i just knew that I couldn't balance. Damn, I got something in my eye. I just knew that like my balance was off. Something was wrong. If I did something too quick, I would literally be super, super dizzy. I ended up going and getting diagnosed with vertigo, which a lot of people do have vertigo, which I'm kind of learning that through my social media. A lot of people are saying that they deal with it. For me, the last time the symptoms kind of came about was a few years ago. And just recently, like a week or so ago, my symptoms came back. And it's just unfortunate because if you know what vertigo is, which actually I'm going to put a screen recording here of what is a vertigo. Vertigo is a sudden internal or external spinning sensation often triggered by moving your head too quickly. Common causes. Vertigo can have causes that aren't due to underlying disease. Example including spinning in circles or medication side effects. So for me, the reason that my vertigo is kind of like coming out is because I have a lot of fluid built up in my ears and those fluids kind of turn into crystals and when the crystals dislodge from your ear canal, your balance gets thrown off, those those crystals send triggers to your brain and just make you confused. My symptoms started to come back like a few weeks ago actually and I didn't really know, like I just thought maybe I'm not hydrated, you know, I haven't been out of the house enough. Because the whole quarantine, I really haven't been leaving, so my daily activity is really limited. I would just be walking around Target or the store and just get really lightheaded. And I just noticed it, but I just, I acted like it was nothing. Because me being me, I like to just work and work and work. But when I did get diagnosed with it a few years ago, I had a really, really bad panic attack. And I want to say that was like five plus years ago. Like, it's been a while since it's been this bad. And they told me that I had anxiety. And so they asked if I wanted medication for it. And my mom was automatically like, no. She didn't want me to start taking a medication that was going to change me as a person. And a lot of the anxiety medications that are out there do kind of, you know, change your everyday vibe and your feeling. So I just managed my anxiety by um, taking deep breaths, counting to 10, breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth, and just doing things that calm me and try not to be in too crazy of environments. Now with that whole thing, you know, back then I handled it really bad and it was just a lot for me. Um, I went camping this past weekend at Jenny Springs and I knew I had been feeling off. I was taking this medication that I had from before called Meclizine. This is supposed to help with dizziness and whatnot. And so I ended up leaving it here. I ended up leaving it at my house during the weekend. I ended up leaving it at my house during the weekend, so all I had to take was Dramamine, which is for motion sickness, you know, dizziness. It would only help me for a couple hours and then I'd fall asleep. So I ended up having to leave the camping trip early, come back home, and then on Sunday morning, which was yesterday, I went to the doctor and she checked my ears and as soon as she did, she was like, yep, it's vertigo, you have a lot of fluid back there. Um, that's what's causing all of this. So then she prescribed me with some more meclizine and then also gave me some prednisone and that is supposed to help with like the inflammation in my ears to try and kind of drain that fluid and it sucks because vertigo makes you dizzy, it makes you nauseous, it makes you tired. Obviously you don't even want to stand up and do anything because as soon as you do you're like what the hell. So today I feel a little better but as soon as I finish this video I'm about to lay back down because I can already feel getting myself getting nauseous just from like being up and talking. So it's something that's been like really hard to deal with actually. I've learned how to cope with my anxieties and learn to just keep myself calm and know that this will pass. I just have to get a lot of rest and stay hydrated. I kept looking up ways, you know, to get rid of it and whatever and there's like surgeries and of course the medication and there's actually a little procedure that you can do um, that they recommend online which I'll put the link down in the description below if you are someone suffering with it that'll help kind of dislodge those crystals from your ear canal and make them 
go away basically so it just sucks because I am the kind of person that likes to get stuff done and like to work so for me I just feel like it's affecting my mental health it's affecting how I feel about myself because I can't do anything I can't work I can't you know do my daily routine of Instagram and getting ready and if I move too much I just feel like shit like right now like my vision is totally screwed like I could probably read stuff but it's a lot harder to focus and I need to focus on something to make sure I'm not dizzy it just doesn't work I don't know this video is for those of you who do suffer with it or feel like you have the same issue definitely go get checked by your doctor get prescribed that medication you do want to catch it early because it will just get worse and worse and worse and you don't want to pass out you don't want to fall over like I don't even make my own lunch at this point my mom or whoever is at my house at the time will make me food that way I don't have to walk up and down the stairs they've been helping me out with Elsa it's just a lot like it's definitely something that you have to learn to live with especially because it doesn't really go away it just kind of comes and goes as it pleases which is really unfortunate it sucks and I hate having a messy room I hate not filming I hate not working towards my dreams I just feel like it puts my life on hold which it can be a good thing it can be a bad thing yes but it's kind of forcing me to take some time to myself and relax and I can't even tell you guys how many Netflix shows I've watched and like finished. I've been laying down in these past two days and this whole week is about me just be just me chilling. I might have someone edit this video for me or I might leave it as like a raw footage. I don't even know. I do know that I have another video that I wanted to go up for you guys so maybe if I'm feeling up to it I will um, try and get that edited and posted on Thursday. I did film it last week actually and I wanted it to go up yesterday but there was no way in hell that I could do that. So I'm trying to just stay positive, take my medicine, stay hydrated, trying to think of the good things, trying to think of what I'm gonna do when this is all over. But I'm really taking that time to myself to concentrate on my well being because it is important. I would love to see again, I would love to stand up without feeling like I'm gonna fall over and I'd love to not feel nauseous. So it is a really scary thing to deal with, but if you are dealing with it, you are not alone. I literally don't even think I've ever told you guys about my really bad anxiety but you know that's something that I have learned to deal with as well sometimes I think about getting on the medication for it but other times I just want to still be me and I want to be in control of my actions and know that I am stronger than the anxiety I am bigger than my vertigo like I can overcome any situation it's like a pride thing I guess and I do look completely crazy I tried to make myself look somewhat cute for this video I think I failed but it's okay, I'm still going to post it. I still want you guys to know that I am alive. I am okay. I have a lot of cool things coming up once I start to feel better. Just to share with you guys, I've been working on something with Ryan, Storm Ryan. You guys know who that is. And we just, you know, we're working. I'm still trying to work. Even while I'm in bed, I'm just texting and like with one eye open. Trying to, you know not completely shut myself from the world. I did have to take a melatonin last night because I was in bed all day. My legs are restless. I had to stretch them out. I had to walk around. So, you know, looking up like ways, remedies that can help, like natural remedies that can help. I learned that there are some natural oils, essential oils that I can use to kind of help with my situation. But I have a cat and basically she's in my room all the time and some of those oils aren't actually good for her, so I can't really use them, which sucks. So I kind of just put them under my nose and smell them a little bit to try and help. So, you know, the best thing to do in the situation is just take it day by day. Rest. Get as much rest as you can. This I've been trying to force myself to do. Unfortunately, my career calls for me to be in front of a camera and talking and being up and at it. So if I am not as active as normal, I am sorry. I wish I was. Trust me, I'd rather not be sitting here doing nothing for days and days and days. Pray for me if you pray. I'm probably gonna watch this video and be like, what the hell, Jen? Why'd you do that? Because I can't even see. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell's going on right now. Just know that I tried to go outside today and was like, you know what? Film a video. So we'll see how this goes. I just realized that I still have to answer some of these questions. <laughs> How frequent do you feel dizzy and how long does it last? It's kind of like an ongoing dizziness. Sometimes it comes and goes. If I walk around a lot, it makes it worse. Can Elsa not stay with you during this time? She can. If I lived alone, it'd be a little bit harder because I really can't move around like that. Um, but I have people here to help, so. What was the first symptom you had that made you go to the doctor to get diagnosed? I was walking around Target and got really dizzy just going around the aisles and going shopping. It just 
something was wrong something just didn't feel right does vertigo cause you to be in pain so not necessarily pain just a lot of discomfort makes me really anxious because i can't see imagine being dizzy all the time you know it just it's not fun whatsoever the medications i'm taking are meclizine and prednisone was it hard to get diagnosed absolutely not like as soon as i went she checked my ears and was like that's what it is. I thought vertigo was a symptom, not a diagnosis. Being dizzy is a symptom of vertigo. So if you have ongoing dizziness, it is vertigo. There is a cause for that dizziness. How long have you had it? How did you get it? What is it? I already kind of explained what it is, the definition, but I got it just by, you know, the building up of fluid over time in my ears and it's kind of caused my nose to be a little stuffy which is normal that's why the prednisone is supposed to help with like the swelling to kind of help everything drain itself out what are your symptoms and rate them one to ten right now it's about like ten being the worst i'm gonna say like a five i'm really nauseous right now just sitting here i think because i'm talking so much but will it go away yes it kind of you know slows itself down it might be weeks it might be days I'm hoping it's just a few days, but, you know, we'll see. What can we do to help? Honestly, there's nothing. Trust me, if I could tell you, I would. There's nothing that I can even do besides rest and hydrate myself and try, you know, stay off my feet and just let my body work its way through this. So what makes you the most happy? I want to say just doing what I love every day. Put out good, wholesome influential content into the world knowing that i'm making a difference that's what makes me happy thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for your constant support i love you all and everything's gonna be okay stay fabulous